Yeah, hi ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm also fine. So let's begin with our introduction, please. Yes, yes. Introduce yourself. So my name is Anil Kumar, and I'm from Bihar. And currently, I am pursuing BA English and Art. And um, my hobby is to talking with my friends. And uh, I wanna be English teacher in my life. This is my goal. That's all. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, so, uh, yeah. like, uh, what do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, I like to talk with some strangers people. And um, I like to watch English video. Okay. Any anything else like watching movies or maybe listening songs, traveling? Anything else that you like to do as your hobby? Yes, I do. Like most of time, I give my time on social media. Like wherever I am free. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Anil. So let's begin with the. session uh, let's begin with today's topic <laughs> so ma'am if you don't mind sorry may know something about you if you don't mind may know something about yourself yeah my name is smriti i'm from delhi and i have completed my btech in computer science engineering okay great so uh, what is your this is the future yeah what is your hobby ma'am um i like to read books and watch tv and series in my free time and uh, what about your goal um i want to become a business analyst okay yeah so uh let's start with the extempore so first let me explain you what is an extempore uh i'll be giving you two topics in the chat box okay and then you'll have Three to four minutes to prepare on those topics. You can keep a pen and paper handy, and after that you have to speak on that topic for two to three minutes. But right now I have no any notebook or pen. Uh, you you can go and keep it. You can go and get it. Okay, ma'am. No problem. Just today we can talk random because. Okay. Or you don't. Yeah, think yeah. You, you can do it uh, without pen and paper also. That. Yeah. 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 So, tell me the topic name. Yeah. This is the first topic. Tricky situation often have simple solution. And. Uh, yeah. Banking fraud. Is... Okay. Banking fraud. Uh, it's. Twelve forty-four. You have time till twelve forty-eight to prepare for it, and then you uh, we, you have to start speaking about it. Okay. So, ma'am, just like uh, I would like to speak something about, uh, like uh, about banking, a uh, banking fraud. Okay. Sorry. Banking fraud. I would like to speak something about it. So, are you prepared? You want to start speaking, or you need time to prepare or think about it? No, I didn't prepare anything, and I don't want to take time for preparation. Okay, just I want to speak whatever my okay. speech will be. Okay. You are you are ready to speak for two to three minutes on it? Okay, let's uh, let's see. I am going to speak how minutes I will speak. Okay. okay. So, like. Uh, if i talk about uh, banking frauds so with uh, with me like uh, i have never faced any situation about banking frauds okay but but sometimes i have got uh, many message many call uh, on my whatsapp uh, by hackers like those people who send message and uh, by whatsapp email or anywhere and they try to Uh, no please send me your code i am going to send you 2 lakh 20 lakh money on your bank and you give me password you tell me password so this type of situation i have faced more than two or three times okay 
but i have never got uh, uh, any like situation like banking frauds uh, related to my bank okay but uh, i think uh, just uh, we need to uh, we need to keep our uh, all documents uh, privately we should not share with anyone okay besides your uh, wherever we are going to bank so that time in the bank if any manager if any person like the, the person who are working in bank he is asking then that time we can share otherwise with another person we should not share about uh, our bank account number or anything or mobile number aadhar number anything we should not share so ma'am i would like to know from you about uh, you can speak something about next topic like uh, tricky question you want me to speak about it yeah yeah you can speak because uh, some I, i have no idea how to speak about that topic okay so uh, i can just from have you. to choose one topic and uh, like uh, i don't have any problem in speaking but the point is that we are taking i am taking your class so it is for you okay. you, you have to speak so uh you you just had to choose one topic and you have done that so it's fine you don't need to speak about that okay 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 uh, okay next week we will do a part that is about the future so uh, like uh, tell me anil what uh, will cities be like 50 years from now like you know that everything is growing so fast and everything is changing so fast so what yeah. uh, how do you feel uh, the cities are going to change in the next 50 years like you can talk about the transportation the crime shopping building pollution work how are these things going to change in the next 50 years so i think uh, in next uh, 50 years uh, some things will be changed like uh, shopping transportation and uh, uh, buildings and uh, environment like day by day air pollution is increasing okay like uh, most of people they are using vehicles motor bike and uh, car many types of vehicles they are using so day by day our air is going to be polluted and if i talk about transportation so day by day transportation system is good it is becoming good okay and uh, i have no more idea about transportation okay but uh, i can uh, speak about like shopping uh, yeah like uh, of in next 50 years uh, many types of uh, shop uh, shop those are big shops uh, they will be developed they will be like uh, many shops will be developed and buildings will be so nice so so good the infrastructure will change a lot yes yes Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, in future, if we are able to add or insert machines to our body to improve it, what will happen? In short, ma'am. Ah, uh, like, ah, uh, like, um, like in, uh, like you must have seen Transformers or there are a lot of movies inserting machines in our body to improve our body's capacity. Like, if somebody doesn't have an arm, we can add a. metal arm to his hand so that he can use his hand so in such yeah, situation will what will happen yeah in that situation that will be good because uh, people can yeah people can uh, add that type of machine uh, in their body and they can work yeah that that will be good okay. so will this be helpful for the humans yeah yeah definitely it will be helpful like uh, how do you feel that this will be helpful uh, i think this will be helpful because uh, if uh, any person has no arms no legs and if they are using this type of uh, machines and uh, this type of things yeah then that will be helpful for them because they can walk they can work uh, they will not feel like uh, i have no i am help they will not feel like i am helpless yes so that will be good so like 
will you do same to your body like if somebody uh, like uh, tells you or uh, like advises you that if you uh, add some part um, like if you insert some mechanical part in your body so it will enhance your body's performance like maybe you know you will be able to run faster or maybe you will have more strength and you will be able to lift more weight so like would you would you like will you do it or maybe yeah, definitely some I would... machine is there that can you know improve your brain's capacity so would you would you ever try it yeah yeah definitely i will try for it you, that will so, be good for my mind for my body yes yes what kind of machine would you like to try like those type of machines who can make my mind strong and who can give me uh, like uh, capacity to do any work to be active for any work so those type of things i would like to have in my body okay so would you want to add to your body uh, okay what so uh, like what do you feel uh, will happen like if you get these kind of things inserted in your body don't you feel that we are uh, you know tampering the nature of the human body the natural nature of the human body no it's no like that because god has also given us many types of quality and that is very good things a special quality in humans video in humans body okay but in spite of this if you want to add Uh, those types of uh, parts those types of chemical things in our body then we can also have but otherwise if you are able to do something and if you are active person then definitely no need any types of chemicals uh, to put in your mind to put in your body to make active just you are active just you should do exercise you should be active you should eat a healthy food everything will be fine i believe in this okay mm-hmm. but in spite of this uh, if you are not able to if your mind is not working if you have no that type of uh, capacity then you can use yes ma'am i can't hear you yeah yeah so uh, like uh, that was all that we were going to discuss about